Yeah, I wanted to start off talking about the various impacts with this storm and starting with snow removal. While this will be a generally light and kind of fluffy snow, well, some areas getting a foot to a foot and a half of it, it's still a lot to remove. Another thing is that it will be windy, so it might be a pain where you kind of clear off a sidewalk and then the wind blows all of your hard work back onto the sidewalk. So that'll be another challenge. And thank you to all of our road crews who are out there to that are going to be keeping us safe tonight throughout the storm. And taking a look at power outages, we think there will be scattered outages with this event, but not major or widespread outages. Why? Well, one one reason again is because of the light fluffy nature of this snow. It's not going to be heavy and wet and clinging to things and weighing them down, but we do have some strong gusty winds. So once we get up towards 45, that's when you can start to see smaller tree limbs start to come down and possibly resulting in a few pockets of trouble spots. Coastal flooding could be minor, but we actually see a northerly wind which pushes the water away from the beaches. So that will work in our favor and it's really not a big concern with this storm, but travel conditions you were hearing right and talk about some of those heavier snowfall rates. It's just too much for road crews to keep up with. So obviously that's going to be a big concern. We've been talking about this big storm developing and the question has always been how close does it get to us here in Connecticut? And right now it looks like it's taking that pretty classic nor'easter track for us here in Connecticut. And you're starting to see some of that development here offshore. Meantime, a front came through today, bringing us a little bit of light snow and snow showers across the state totally unrelated to the storm that is on the way between 9 p.m. and 11 o'clock or midnight. We'll say first around 9 o'clock for the Connecticut shoreline, but it may take until 11 or midnight for that snow to reach parts of northwestern Connecticut, and it starts off fairly light in intensity. Then as we head through the overnight, it will start to pick up and the heaviest will be, I think, Saturday morning through about mid afternoon. So we'll say 7 a.m. to around 3 or 4 o'clock is when the heaviest will be coming down in some of those bands the entire time. It's not going to be snowing one to three inch per hour rates, but these bands will come through and as they come through your town or community, especially for central and eastern Connecticut, that's where you're going to run into more of those issues. Now, I do think there is going to be a sharp cutoff on the western side of the storm. We've been talking about how that would be pretty challenging. Uh, notice as we head towards four or five o'clock, we're drying things out for parts of western Connecticut, but it's still snowing pretty heavily in eastern areas. Taking a look at peak wind gusts. Again, we're thinking that inland areas could see gusts up to 45 miles per hour, but towards the shoreline in southeastern Connecticut, gusts could reach up to 50 or 55 miles per hour. We see one round of strong wind gusts in the morning, especially along the shoreline. And then as we head through the afternoon and evening, I think inland areas may see your peak wind gusts as the storm is starting to pull away. We're also talking about wind chills that are going to be near or even below zero throughout the entire day tomorrow, which is going to make it challenging to be outside, but I'm sure a lot of folks are not really going to be outside. High temperatures on your Saturday are in the low 20s. We're in the mid 20s for Sunday. Sunny, cold, great for playing outside or digging out whatever you end up doing. Notice as we head through the week, we do eventually thaw things out, but no help from Mother Nature for a couple of days following the storm, guys.